gon' tell the T some shit just can't be told Mama said, watch who you subscribe to, don't you get imposed I done seen a lot of goofy niggas in expensive clothes I done seen a lot of rapping posses with official flows uh, Enough's enough, let's clean it up, yeah Ay, yeah, the green of mud, I got it out the mud Then got it out the sun, yeah Enough's enough, enough, I seen enough It's time to clean it up, yeah Actually, you know what? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's talk about it. So I feel like... For real, for real, I'm at a time where I'm like, I'm fed up. I'm fed up because... When I'm looking at everything from my own behavior to the behavior of us worldwide, especially as men, and, it, and when it comes to how we deal with our women, there's some things that we need to look at on a collective, on a global scale. And I've been watching what people are saying, you feel me? I went on the T and I watched. I see what people are saying because I'm trying to understand, like, What's the purpose? Like, you know, you know, the thing that bothers me is hella people, we went into this organization with a purpose, right? We go into this purpose talking about uh, collective consciousness, becoming gods again, and, and 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 what that looks like and what that feels like. Oh, go ahead, man. And what that looks like and what and what that feels like when we have no idea. We have no idea what that looks like and what that feels like. What is going on? People, and, and then here's the thing. Niggas talking about I'm the chief. I'm the this. Because niggas want to know what. What do you, what does niggas think about it? Fuck it. Let's talk about it. You feel what I'm saying? Let's talk about it. For you to be a chief is not something that you about to have to. It's not going to be something you self-proclaim. This shit is beyond man and man's understanding of how he feels like this is. The time that we're in right now is a time where we're 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 getting reintroduced to mama. That's what this is. We're getting reintroduced to mama on a global scale. When I first left Carbonation and I went to Mexico, the first thing I did was I went to mama and I did ayahuasca. I did ayahuasca. Now, when I did ayahuasca, at the time, I didn't know what I was getting myself into fully. 
But ayahuasca is that's mama, that's big mama. She's taking you into the quantum realm, into the the magic of life, of your own subconscious, to show you what you're not willing to look at, what you're not willing to face. And so when I had that connection, when I went into that experience, I came out of that experience very shook. Because that's where our original power is, as melanated people, it's in the magic. It's in mama. We get so caught up in this physical realm of illusions and power, black man, he, we feel like for so long we've been put down. So now we have to, we, we want to overcompensate and we just want to dominate. Give me all the wives, give me everything, give me, this is the imbalanced male ego. All that power you experience as a man is not, bro, the only reason you got that power is to enforce your woman and to protect her and your family. That's it. And righteousness. Nigga, that's it. Otherwise, you a servant boy, you nothing. You feel what I'm saying? If you're not able within yourself as a man to be able to, outside of your ego, listen to your woman and receive the wisdom that comes from your woman. Because that's how it works. That's your equal. Your wife is your equal. And so now we have all these imbalanced things that come from the imbalanced male ego, like polygamy, which is why it doesn't work. And niggas is trying to force it. And the woman is not going with it. They, something feel off. It feel off. And we want to blame it. It's the insecurities. It's this and that. Well, when are you going to listen? As a man, when a, your woman literally gets it last. Let's talk about it. The black woman literally gets it last. The black man says, public enemy number one. Playing the victim, sure. But after, as the black man, you feel like you're not getting misunderstood. Who gets the end of that? The woman. On top of that, in the, in the world, the woman is already degraded. On all scales, from all races. The woman is degraded. So now you're talking about the black man who feels like his shit fucked up, he's stressed out, and then what? He comes and dumps on his wife. So really, she's getting it last. So when she's yelling at us and fussing at us and cutting up and throwing shit and trying to fuck you up, it's because you're being narcissistic. It's because you're being an imbalanced man. And so right now, what's happening collectively in the world, everybody talking about some, I'm the chief, nigga, what? You're not gonna have to say you the chief. You're not gonna have to say you the goddamn chief or nothing. It's just gonna be is what it is. And that's not something that's decided by you because that's what you want. Because you want power. The chief is gonna be the one that's in that is given to because he doesn't want the power. He doesn't he doesn't crave the power to dominate and to have all his luxuries and his pleasures and to indulge like King Solomon. That's not what it's about. That shit is ass backwards. You gotta learn how to put your ego aside. So I wrote something. I was sitting with my thoughts today. I was meditating. And I was thinking to myself, as a man, I'm, I'm understanding myself. I got my queen. And, and how my queen came to me Bro, you talking about mama. This is the projection of daughter Earth. Nigga, your wife holds your wisdom, nigga. Your wife the one that's supposed to keep you in check and keep you balanced. Nigga talking about being a god, but can't even have a balanced relationship with their wife. Why? Because they desire more. They want more. There's no stop to it. Your wife is, just, is the stop to it, nigga. And then a lot of women don't have the self-esteem. They don't have the self-esteem within themselves to say, no, I'm not going to do this. I'm not just going to go with this because my man going to cheat on me anyway because men are polygamous. Nah, niggas lack self-discipline. Niggas got their priorities fucked up. And that's the truth. So in my experience, right, when I'm tapping into ayahuasca, before my queen comes to me, when I'm dealing with ayahuasca, and a lot of people think, oh, that's drugs and drugs. No, ayahuasca is a plant medicine, and it's not a joke. Ayahuasca is not a joke. It takes you directly into your subconscious mind, kind of like shrooms. And you experience your subconscious mind in a very intense way, which is something that you can't escape. 
You can't escape you. You can't escape your subconscious mind, nigga. So what? You plunge yourself into it. You go into mama's realm, the darkness, the hidden. So that you can obtain the enlightenment by going through the dark. Before you portal through here, you're in the womb, you're in the dark, you're in mama's realm, you're in the quantum realm. After I did ayahuasca, I was thinking to myself, reality got trippy. I didn't know what was real from what was fake. Reality was trippy. I had to surrender. I couldn't, I couldn't grasp anything. I had to understand drugs. I'm talking about I'm sitting down, laying down, and the angel of death literally comes to me. And I'm sober. After I did that, um, that after I did that video when I denounced carbonation, there was an earthquake that happened right, right after I ended the live. I denounced it, I ended the live, there was an earthquake. That night when I went in my room, I was afraid to go to sleep. I honestly was scared. I was scared to death. I couldn't, I could, I'm not gonna hold you. It was an earthquake and shit. I was already seeing shit. And I was scared. You feel me? So I asked mom, I'm like, Mom, can I sleep? But when you're talking about your capabilities, your emotional understanding, a lot of times women surpass that of men. Yet men, in their own foolish thinking, in our own foolish way, think because we're powerful and we think and we're the mind that we're the power and we're in control. Nigga, you stupid. You're dumb. And you're missing out. And that's truth. That's for me going through shit myself and having the most realest, honest looks at myself to say, God damn, how is this so fucked up and ass backwards? And why aren't we able to see it? You had somebody who came, took the truth and flipped that shit upside down so much that that shit got niggas heads fucked up. The only way to rectify that and to fix your mind is to go to mama. That's it. You can't exist without what? Breathing and your water, nigga. That's your, that's mama, your emotions. Breath is popping. That's to understand. That's the physical. Mama, that's the unseen, the emotions. The black woman is wounded on a global scale. And as men, you're supposed to enforce her value. Not put yourself out there to get more. Not put yourself out there to get more money to look like the man. That, oh, yeah, I'm stunned on these. I'm going to get all these hoes. I'm going to do all this for what, nigga? Do you know what's going on right now, nigga? Shit, this shit is being cleansed. This shit is being cleansed, nigga. There is nowhere to run from you. And mama's coming for that ass, I promise you. I promise you. As soon as I was going through shit, niggas was hit my phone like, yo, I'm seeing shadows. I'm this, that, and third. That's because mama's coming. What you think Jupiter and Pisces and all that shit about? Scorpio season. Looking deep into your shadows. Your desires, your feet, facing yourself. That's what it's about. And I'll be damned. If I ever even speak, I don't want to make this public, man. I don't fuck with no, re we're not remaking no goddamn carbonation. I wouldn't remake something with that title on it, nigga, if you paid me. Fuck is you talking about? That shit was so stepped on. I don't want to revive that, nigga. I don't even want to put, I don't care to put a fucking name on it. Let it be what it is, nigga. The fuck? That's the problem. We want to put our shit in everything instead of letting shit just be and honoring it and really taking care of the earth and taking care of the black woman. What does that really look like? What does it really look like to be a man and stand on your shit for real, nigga? What does that look like? Niggas don't know. And half the time are too coward to really commit themselves to being a man. Why? Because all they like, they were so they was a child, they was a victim. You a victim to the system, you a boy. She talking about, niggas talking about, Oh, this cheat, when he come back, we all... Nigga, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm the chief of me, nigga. I'm the chief of my family and my wife. And she the chief of me. Niggas got that shit ass backwards.